Welcome to Scottish Outdoor Life. We're salmon fishing today, not shooting for a change. Obviously the shooting season's coming to an end, so uh, that's the salmon season kicked off on the 15th of January. It's Saturday the 30th, the beat's got a restriction of two rods on it at the moment, so it's just Rowan and I fishing today. And uh, listen, we hope you enjoy it. When we decided to do these, these films, obviously the shooting ones are, are kind of action packed we'd like to think there's probably a lot going on but spring salmon fishing um if anyone's clicked on this then you'll know exactly what it's all about it's long hard days in the cold and the snow and the frost and there's often not a lot doing We're, we'll try and show you some of the pools maybe different beats different rivers uh, and try and keep it interesting and hopefully catch one at some point but um listen this is a this is a pool called eric's it's just above the hut. I'm going to give this a run, a run down through with the fly. Um, we'll do that first of all. I have got the spinning rod. Uh, whether I use it or not, I don't know. Rowan has his, um, and and he'll be using that. And he's got his fly rod just to keep practicing. So, listen, we'll go and get cracking and see what we can make of it. That's the problem, trying to film and do this at the same time and stuck on the bottom. I always like it, just so you can see that really hard water, you imagine they come up through here and just sit, I think they just often come in, just sit over the lip there. your bag down on the grass down there and start just there Rowan. I'm gonna lose that fly. Let's <laughs> <laughs> give this fly a little check. That's one of Bob's flies. It's a funny looking fly actually. Especially in the water. You can see that there. It seems to be set in, set in pretty cold again though, the next wee while. I don't think we'll get much water anytime soon. Creep through it, yeah. Uh, low and cold. You... Yeah. Yeah. Other ingredients. Silver thing. <laughs> well. Maybe the most important ingredient. Where was I? I was fishing here one day. I was opposite you and you were out in the boat and you got you got one down there. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> when was it that you had that bumper year and it was cold? I mean, it was cold for a long time and. It was four, four, uh, th four to eight years ago. Yeah. So it was those four years. Yeah. Shelves and things there that they could be sitting in, you know. Yeah. But watch the way down. Just uh, go, canny. Are you cold? Are you bored? You almost broke the rod. How? I've had, I've had it like that and I just went into the ground and it was like full. Oh, pain. Yeah, you're not wanting to do that. Can into the corner there. Yeah. So you just cover this little bit here, and then you turn here right into the tail. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Just give it a quick run through. Yeah. Be more likely to be a runner that you'll get here than anything. Right. Okay. That's really hard water. You see, just a hundred yards away. It's the only route they've got uh, across the whole river. Across that side, it's just too shallow at the moment. So anything coming up the river has to come through that narrow gap and it's very, very fast, so they're likely to sit up in here. Very tight back cast here, we'll need to watch what we're doing. In here, as long as we're hitting where my fly is gone, just that fast bit of water, it's coming out of that fast into the slow. And in this channel here, that's where we're going to be expecting a pool. So that was the green tree, we've got nothing in doing in there, so we're just going to give the slap a go. I think it's a wee bit low, but Bob said it's probably worth a quick run through since we're across this side, so we'll give that a go. From here to the ridge? Aye, yeah, yeah. Just start off short, just keep your hand on there. Hopefully you'll get away with it. What's that? Which one's Little Head? Is that Little, little Head's between the two streams? Yeah. It just is not working at all now. I had nothing out of it last year. Right. More out the wood side last year. I got real confidence in the wood side. Yeah. But it's on the lowest side now. It's on a wee bit to fish in it. Yeah.
Do you think that's definitely a, a temperature barrier and no? I don't think so, no. I don't think so. I think if it had been the bowl, uh, you know, those two big gaps were closed and they just left the natural fish pass. Yeah. Th then I think it would be more of a barrier because, you know, that would be a real force of white water coming through there. Yeah. So this is the cat hole stream. We're just looking to hit that faster water with a fly and obviously just in this part here, the quieter bit off the fast water, that's where we'd expect to fish. It's early enough, yeah, isn't it? Fish is a treat down there. Yeah. Just comes round at the right place, right into the side. You're just waiting for the pro. <laughs> yeah. It's been a fine afternoon though. It's gone a touch milder, hasn't it? Was it? Yeah. Should have got rowing out in the, the afternoon and not the morning. That would have been the thing to do. Yeah. Down with Harry at Walk Mill, he, you, he, he, but, he got a 13 pounder, yeah. Yeah, out of the boat. So that kind of spurred them on the next few times he was out, but he much prefers the fly than spinning. Last cast, Bobby, what do you think? That's the back of four, so we've decided to pack up. Uh, we've been through all the pools that are fishable in this height of water. A great day out. Sleet, snow, hail, um, sunshine. Went a lot milder this afternoon. I dropped Rowan back off at the house at lunchtime. Uh, he was cold and bored, but it was nice to fish the beat again. Uh, haven't fished it for a, a few years. Uh, we'll try and get back here uh, maybe in February uh, at some point. But obviously current restrictions, there's uh, limited rod availability. This, this beat's restricted to two people a day. Uh, there's no boats, there's no facilities. Um, there is some availability on other beats. We may try somewhere else um, or we might come back here. But uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.